Hi, my name is Scott Ingalls. I'm the Irrigation Manager with Top Choice Lawn Care, and today we're going to be going over how to winterize your backflow system. Today we're going to show you how to winterize your above ground RP irrigation backflow device. First, what you want to do is you want to locate your isolation valve. Your isolation valve should be in a green box located behind your backflow device. You can simply turn, put your hand in and isolate it off here. If you don't, if it's a little tight, you can get a water key at your local Home Depot and that can help you turn it off. If you don't have one of these backflow devices or these isolation valves, you can turn it off here. What's known as the first check or the first ball valve. It's easy to locate because it's the one that has one of these test ports right above it. Then once you have it isolated off at either one of those two locations, remove the caps on all of your test ports. You can store these away inside your garage or somewhere in your home that you can find easily later. Turn on, the, turn on the ball valve down here at the bottom. Water will drain out, that's perfectly fine. And then open each one of your test ports. And again, water dumping out of the bottom is perfectly fine. It's designed to do that. <clears throat> I recommend opening the one down here first. That way when you open these, you don't get splashed with water like I did earlier. And uh, that's basically it for the steps of winterizing your above ground RP device. If you have any questions, please feel free to call us at the office. Again, my name is Scott and I'm the irrigation manager. Thank you.